All right, this is the session recap for the 20th day of uh, March. And this morning, we're waiting for FOMC at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Okay, Stephen, right here. So if we if rates stay the same, uh, not all of them, but some of them, yeah, some of them are there. Uh, uh, well, you can always watch the first hour. It's, a, it's this last little piece we just did. I always put them up every day, John. They're up every day, no matter what, the whole thing. But today I'm going to I'm gonna take a second step and carve out a piece of it, just that little one part right there. All right, so there we go. And let me see if I can get it. All right. All right, so at FOMC, if the rates stay the same or they raise them, watch for that big move up there. If they don't raise them and, and they reduce them, watch for this move to come to the downside, right? Now, you know, it's all going to happen in a nanosecond. So just be aware of that, all right? So the target up for the dollar index is the 2.618 up here, which is also this top up here, right? So big wide open space, they can run that. So be aware of that. That's why you're going to want to use uh, entry orders because they'll run that whole thing because they got a big wide open space there. That details you you're a buyer. So we're a buyer. And euro would be going to the downside, but euro has such a low ATR that you can't even trade it. All right. So back to here. Here we go. ATR. And make this small again. All right. So uh, euro dollar ATR is uh, only 49 pips. So you can't take, you don't have 55 pips. Pound uh, dollar, all right, we're two thirds of the way to target right now. It's not going to be tradable because you're not going to get a new ATR till after five o'clock. But I certainly target this 1270 down here for sure, down in this area, right? Right there. Now, if it pulls up in here, which it's doing, all right, then you could trade it to the downside, but I would make the new target the 1270 down here. Let me get rid of this one, all right? 1270 right here as the target for the pound dollar after FOMC, right? That's at 26.37, right? Dollar yen, right? Dollar yen, we just missed target by a couple of pips there and uh, we're pulling back now. All right, so if the, dollar, if, the, if the dollar goes up, this is going up, watch them to go up to that F, uh, R6 up there uh, tonight, right there, after FOMC. If the dollar, if the, the dollar index goes up, can trade Aussie or New Zealand, they're too low ATRs, but uh, Euro Yen, we're still uh, working this trend. We've got a big sideways move here. Let me go up to the 60. All right. So uh, remember, we're going to get, if it moves this afternoon, you're going to get a much bigger move than just to the ATR. So I would definitely charge it to 618 and maybe even R6 up here if you get that move up there. All right. So there you go. R6 is at 166.32, 61, uh, this top of it, 168.58. Pound yen, all right? Pound yen, we're looking for this target right here. It'll most likely be down here at the bottom. Watch for that trade, hold to the 1,000 and hold for the 127 up there, 193.83. All right, over to the exotics, Aussie yen. We're just shy of target here, so you probably should walk away from this, all right? Uh, let me get a fib on here for later on. Swing low, swing high, swing low, right there. There's the 1,000. All right. And you got lots of other targets up here. So you can watch this, especially if it does a sideways move. Now, if it does a sideways move, which it's starting to do, that's how you got into that. That's how you're coming out. So the 1.618 in a sideways move, as you can see, is a nice target for the flag. All right. All right. So your brain has to see it and calculate what's the next move. It only does that if you have experience. I can't get experience in three, four days in the in the market, but I can get experience if I do my 300 and then my next 300 and my next 300 and my next 300. That's how you get experience, all right? There are only 200 trading days a year. Are you gonna get a trade every single day? No, all right? So when you get a trade, uh, you know, maybe 140, 50 times a year, that's all. 140, 150 times a year, you're gonna get a trade, all right? Can I get experience that way? Nope. Can I get experience doing 300 everything? Yep. All right. So watch for that. Uh, Euro Aussie. All right. Uh, Euro Aussie. This is the one we have trouble with. We kept saying, man, it sure looks like it's going down. And sure enough, this morning, you've got a zero line break. Now, it's before FOMC, so it doesn't mean much. 
If we get the bounce, the target is up here at 6,700 and hold for 67.35 up there. Swiss yen, uh, Swiss yen, well, we'll get it. Uh, it's following the dollar up. So look for the day chart top tonight. All right? Once FOMC comes out, look for the day chart top at 171.72. Pound Aussie, all right, we're in this pennant and we got entry orders up here. We're gonna hold for the 1000 and hold for the 1270. With a catalyst in the market, it could certainly go further. So hold for that 1270 and actually hold for uh, 9600 up there. All right? You're in New Zealand, all right? Going sideways right now. That means that they're hoping to continue this. The target is here. I'd hold for the 1.618 up here. And you can get rid of this one. Not that it's not valid, but I already got one right there. So might clean the charts up. So watch for that big opportunity right there on your New Zealand, possibly all the way up to 8,100. Pound New Zealand, same thing here. Waiting for the move. If it happens, look for the 1270 above the ATR at 211.55 right up there. All right, and uh, New Zealand yen is the final one, hard to trade it, We're barely got room, all right? So I'd stay out of it. The target is the R3 at 91.82, but you don't have 55 pips, so walk away from it. All right, 